welcome to Morning Manor with Pastor Steve Mary. Today's topic, what you don't have. When Jesus then lifted up his eyes and saw a great company come unto him, he saith unto Philip, Whence shall we buy bread, that these may eat? And this he said to prove him, for he himself knew what he would do. Philip answered him, Two hundred pennyworth of bread is not sufficient for them that every one of them may take a little. One of his disciples, Andrew, Simon's brother, saith unto him, There is a lad here which hath five barley loaves and two small fishes. But what are they among so many? St. John 6, 5-9 through 9. This is a very well-known story. Five thousand men had come to hear Jesus speak. Well, we all know the end of that story. Jesus told everyone to sit down in rows. Then he blessed the food and break the bread and everyone was invited to take as much as they wanted. But have you ever wondered if anybody else there that day had any food? We know that the little boy had five loaves and two fishes, but surely someone else must have had something as well. What about the disciples? Did any of them have any food with them? If they did, why didn't they offer when the need arose? Well, it's easy to conclude. It is because they weren't looking at what they had. They were focused on what they did did not have. Many times in the scriptures, people were told to use what they had. In 2 Kings chapter 4, there was a widow of a prophet whose sons were going to be taken into slavery. So she went to the prophet Elisha to ask for help. This is what he said. What shall I do for you? Tell me, what do you have in your house? And she said, your maidservant has nothing in the house but a jar of oil. Elisha said, what do you want me to do? You already have all you need. Each one of us is lacking in some way. None of us are yet perfect, and we all have weaknesses and problems. But we cannot be focused on what we don't have, that we miss recognizing, appreciating, and using what we do have. There's some weaknesses we cannot change. In my mind, I am an awesome singer. I sing so well. But in reality, I'm trapped in this body with vocals that don't bring the tune exactly how I hear them in my mind. In other words, I can't sing. All of us have different abilities, gifts, and strengths. In the same way, there are areas that we are not good at. You may not be a good singer, as I'm not either, but you may be good with figures and do administration. There are other people who are not so good with figures. There are some weaknesses we can change. All of us have areas of weaknesses that we can change, that we can strengthen. Maybe it is a sin we are involved in or a character flaw that we have. I think we can make two mistakes in this era. One, ignoring or overlooking the need for change. Or two, focusing so much on our flaw that we become crippled by it. Paul puts it like this. This is a faithful saying and worthy of all acceptance that Jesus Christ came into the world to save sinners of whom I am the chief. He saw himself as the worst ever sinner. He also said that he had a thorn in his flesh, a messenger of Satan that would knock him around and remind him of how worthless and how low he really was. However, he did not allow things to stop him from using the strengths that he did have. He didn't ignore his weaknesses. He was working on them with God's help, but he didn't focus on what he didn't have. He remembered he had some great strengths as well. If you have a weakness you cannot change, recognize that you are what you are because God made you and he had chosen the abilities you have. You're not less valuable in his sight because there are some things that you're not good at. On the contrary, you're needed exactly the way you are to complete the body of Christ that the church is supposed to be. There's most definitely a lot of things that we're not able to do, but there are lots of things that we can. Because you have the God-given ability and the character to do them, just like the prophet said to the widow, what have you got? Use that. The thought of the day, I might not have the same abilities and gifts as somebody else, but I've been given enough to help build a kingdom. God bless you today, in Jesus' name. Please remember to like and subscribe to my page on YouTube. Your support is much appreciated.